Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm actually fresh out the shower. I just came back from the gym and decided that I want to detox the hair because it's just time. You know, you gotta listen to your hair and your scalp and it just, it needs something. I've also been eyeing this in my product collection for a while. I've never tried this before. This is the Bread Mud Mask. I don't know if I've ever done a mud mask, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, it's supposed to detox my hair and it's a scalp treatment. So this brand is from Sephora. I think I've tried the shampoo conditioner like once or twice before. I'm gonna try it again today because I don't really, whoa, 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 whoa. It started coming out. <laughs> I don't remember much about it. Well, first of all, why is it called bread? I gotta figure this out before we even get started. <laughs> I literally got loaves of bread. <laughs> So I'm gonna apply this on my damp hair and you're supposed to do it before you do your whole wash day, meaning before your shampoo and conditioner. So I just took a regular shower for the body, just got my hair wet and now I'm going to apply it. Section hair as you go and apply mud mask directly to scalp, massage it in, then glide mud mask down the lengths of your hair, making sure that all your strands are coated. Leave on for 20 minutes and proceed with your usual wash day routine. What do you smell like? Mud. It smells like clay. Sections, my arch nemesis. Apply it directly to the scalp. Okay. So it says, Bread Beauty Supply is here for the essentials, the must-haves, like bread. Ah, I see, kind of like your bread and butter of your hair products. Okay. I get it. But we don't want hair care to feel forced or chore-like anymore. Hair care should be fun. I will say the packaging is pretty fun. You might have seen their packaging at Sephora. The only brand that has like big old faces on it and then these really cool like bags. So I like the packaging. It's not really the easiest to store, but I don't know, it's unique. And at this day and age, you gotta stand out somehow. It actually doesn't really have a smell. It's like a really, really, really light clay smell. But nothing like gross or overbearing. So that's good, because if it smells bad, I'll probably never use it again. How much is this? This is a bestseller, $34. Okay, it's not cheap. I mean, it's kind of what you could expect from any product at Sephora. You don't go to Sephora for you know, drugstore prices. It's got five stars on their website. It's pre-shampoo treatment, reset your curls, and for your shiniest, bounciest hair, Mud Mask is designed to help fix limp, flat curls. Okay, this is what I need. My hair has been feeling so just boring lately. It's supposed to increase shine and gently exfoliate your scalp. It almost feels like a face mask. I also like that it's said to apply on damp hair because I hate any pre-products. And you're just like, am I just supposed to apply this on my nasty, dry, dirty hair? So I would at least get it wet. Okay, now it says go down the links. This is silicone free, vegan, sulfate free, and cruelty free. Okay, let's put this up in a clip and I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna hop back in the shower. Okay, I'm now fresh out the shower and it was quite the experience. Starting off with the Hair Wash, Gentle Milky Hair Cleanser for all curl types. There's 8.4 fluid ounces in this bag with this little nozzle and you pour it. But the main thing I gotta talk about is the scent. This literally, it smells like lemon cookie batter. If you were making lemon cookies and you tried to dip your finger in the batter, it smells so good I almost wanted to lick it. It has an argan oil and aloe vera, it's sulfate free. Gives you a good wash day. So right on here it says that it's light, I would agree. Marshmallow-like cream that transforms into a gentle lather for clean and soft strands. Very minimal lather, not too many suds. It's supposed to help take care of buildup and debris without causing knottingness, crisp dryness, or stripping your hair of natural oils. Then I rinsed it out and added the conditioner. They don't really have just like a normal conditioner, they have a hair mask. So this is a creamy deep conditioner for all curl types. Lightweight, supposed to give you soft moisturized curls, make it easy to detangle. I mean, 
I guess the slip was all right. It was doing better when I used a brush, but it didn't have enough slip for me just to finger detangle with. This was a mix between like cake and Play-Doh. Like if I was going to make a cake out of Play-Doh, that's what this would smell like. I'm supposed to leave it on for five to 10 minutes, add more water to detangle. Maybe if I would have added more water, it probably would have detangled better. But I thought it was cool. Rinse it out and that's how we got to this point right here. But let me check the pricing once again. Ugh. Breaking news. You can't see it. They have a hair gel. They just came out with a gel. I was just gonna say all I have is their hair cream, which they're kind of calling a leave-in, which you know I don't use leave-ins without a styler on top. Now I gotta get the gel. Darn it, should have waited. Shampoo, AKA hair wash is $20, 8.4 fluid ounces, and the hair mask is $28, 12 fluid ounces. Oh. Oh, this is a bigger bag. I do like that they know that curly people use more conditioner than shampoo. It does make it a little bit more expensive though. So this is, this is almost $50 just right here. Let's try the cream. So this is the hair cream. I don't like when there aren't any directions anywhere on the bottle. Is it a leave-in? Oh! Okay, the scents are popping. This smells like grape, like grape candy. Wow, you really wanna eat these, like bread. This jar is 8.4 fluid ounces, it's $28. Curls are left looking to find but feeling flouncy and pliable without, without lock-in stiffness or the dreaded crunch. Gonna have to disagree with you there. No one's dreading crunch around here. We thrive off of crunch. <laughs> we wanted to create a leave-in that could do it all from braid out slick buns, diffusing, air drying every single style in between. Instead of four to five styling products, it's just one cute reusable glass jar for your top shelf. Okay, it's saying I can use this all on its own. It's a hair cream, but it says elastic bounce leave-in. Do I dare? I have some place to be tonight. Okay. Wow. Oh, this is fun though. Look at that. Very nice, smooth cream. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh man. Okay, let's apply this from roots to ends. I'm not exactly sectioning, but I'm raking it in. I think it said to add more water as I go, but the way my hair dries between seven to 10 business days, I just don't think I have time for more wetness. I guess it is feeling more like a styler than a leave-in. It's not just like absorbing and going away. So it's a good sign, I guess. <laughs> I get so nervous. Did it say mango butter? Yeah, I'm getting like the butter finish. Not so much like a cream, but it does feel like a butter. No dreaded crunch. That's how I know. That's how you know this really ain't for me. I need that gel. Please send it to me. Instead of using four to five stylers, just use one? Are we sure? I was gonna add some random gel on top of this, but I guess I won't. I guess for the sake of this, I won't. Did it say I could diffuse though, or did it say to air dry? Air dry or diffuse? Let's diffuse, and I'm gonna use my Revlon. I just did a diffuser battle, trying out all the top blow dryers. So go back and watch that video if you missed it so you know who makes the best blow dryer and diffuser. This is the cheapest one in the battle. This is like $24 on Amazon or something crazy. So I wanna give it another try if I haven't used it in a while, so let's Let's keep it nice and gentle on this gentle cream. We're gonna go warm, high. Okay. Let's see where we are. So, it does look really good. My hair is super, super soft. Absolutely no hold or crunch. 
it feels like a pillow. It's good, I just don't know if it's gonna last because of how soft it is. And that's just me wanting to add just a little bit of something on top, like the new bread gel probably. So I'm excited to get my hands on that and add it. That would probably like take this routine to the next level with the cherry on top, just for a little bit of something. My hair doesn't look bad though. It's just very like soft, fluffy, pillow soft, if you will. What do you guys think? I like it if you're a cream girl. If you're a cream person, you're gonna love it. It's My hair smells so good. If you hate hold, you're gonna love it. But I just don't know if I'm gonna continue to grab for this on its own. It is very moisturizing, so I could see it being a good leave-in. I would just use less and then put something on top. So maybe I'll keep using it as a leave-in, but I'm just not as a one and done styler. So Bread also has hair oil, everyday gloss, like lip gloss, but for your hair, multi-purpose hair oil. This is the small oil. I don't think my hair can get any softer. Let's try it. Oh, this also smells good. It smells like the grape, just like the, uh, the cream. Shiny. It does look really good. Okay, I might be able to add this to my repertoire of oils. That list is very short, because I'm really big on the scents. I kind of just only use Curl Smith, but I might use this one too. Okay. What do we think? So this hair oil, which is one fluid ounce, is $24. Since this is going to be a fluffy day, let's just see how big we can get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna like this. It is doing a good job. It just, it depends on how you wear your hair. I would absolutely not just use this on a human area. I just need hold. Quick insert because I had to show you guys how my hair looked at the end of the day. It's frizzy. This is why I need hold. The cream did not last long enough for me. Like it's big and voluminous. Like I can make it look decent, but when you really get in there for the price, I gotta try that gel. Not enough for me. So leave all your comments and thoughts below. Have you tried bread before? What do you think? Are you intrigued? Would you try it for yourself? Do you like the big soft fluffy look? Or are you more of a strong hold crunchy girl like me? Leave me a comment down below with all of your thoughts. And if you enjoy my curly hair reviews or just me in general, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank you.